In my imagination, when I thought of a home for women with cancer, I thought of somewhere a little dark and heavy, a little foggy, uh, a little damp and cold. Uh, and what I found was the total opposite. when I was at a really low point. I was not eating and I was really sick from the chemotherapy. I figured, you know what, there's nothing to lose. Let me, let me come and try out this place. As soon as I walked in, I felt this immense energy of love and peace and uh, healing. And I felt like this is, this is my second home. <laughs> In January of 2009, I remember saying, I wonder what a woman does when she has a long-term illness like cancer. Her responsibilities stay the same. Her family responsibilities, her work responsibilities, and now insert a life-threatening disease. How can the body heal if you're not giving yourself permission to do that? Take yourself out for a moment and just breathe. So we invite women in to just hit the pause button so that they can gain a new perspective and meet others on the same path. It's 10 bedrooms, a private spa, beautiful teaching kitchen. Kathy makes amazing food, gluten-free, all organic, vegan, alkaline. The volunteers and the staff are just the amazing women themselves. They exude this radiant light of, of love and wisdom and joy. Everything in this home shows that it was done meaningfully and purposefully. It caters to every need. We found that there were very specific gaps in treatment where we could make a difference doing things that weren't being done anywhere else. Such as that oncology massage or individual counseling or a Reiki session, whether it's a yoga practice, nutrition education. And we add in other services through other practitioners. Maybe it's a dance class or an art therapy class. The atmosphere is just so warm and peaceful and beautiful. To see the women arrive here from all over the country it is complete validation that Mary's Place by the Sea exists for the right reasons and for the right people. Three years ago I had cancer. I didn't have anybody else to talk to. With my second cancer, one day my daughter says, maybe we'll go and just see what it's like. And she actually had to push me in the door because I didn't know what to expect. I think I was afraid, but I talked to other people about it so openly and not be afraid to talk about it. I didn't know, but what you got here, it's freedom. Things I had been holding in, I can tell. We don't want to see women home living in quiet desperation any longer. We're that community to support you for that instant that you may need it. Michelle and Maria reached out to me and said, come into Mary's place one day and talk. I was like, well, okay, the one thing I'm really struggling with is this whole hair issue. What am I gonna do? They'll help me figure out this whole hair scarf thing before my hair falls out. That's it, that's all. And I got here, it was totally unexpected, the whole sensation of it. It just felt like, like I was home. And I just felt so energized and so refreshed and renewed when I left here. And then I realized, wow, I still don't know where to get a wig. <laughs> and I still don't know how to tie a scarf on my head. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? All of a sudden, I became okay with it. The other thing about it is we can laugh. Yeah, we all have cancer, but when you're here, you feel like a woman again. You don't feel like, oh, she's got cancer. 
for just a moment in time. It's important to me that they feel loved, cared, supported, heard. You are not your cancer, you are who you are as people. I'll never forget when I opened my door. How relaxing it was to see the sunrise and just to see the sea. Mary's place is it's just amazing. I would love to have them have a few days here and us waiting on them. That was one of my dreams. I think it would be wonderful to be able to do that. Because then nobody could cook like Kathy. <laughs> I don't have maternal support outside of Mary's place. The love of a mother is very unique and it's irreplaceable, but surprisingly, I found it here among the women. I really pray that Mary's Place can have other locations. This house was built with community and love. Love resides here. You can't escape it.